Welcome to another webinar on AI exam certification preparation uh, and review. This is my webinar on the NVIDIA Certified Associate Generative AI Multimodal Exam. Uh, I took this exam in May, actually the same day I took the NVIDIA uh, Generative AI LLM exam, and I'm going to review this exam uh, today in this short little webinar. Um, and again, this is another exam review by Thomas Plunkett. All right, so let's go take a look at the details of this exam. So I'm going to change what page I'm looking at. Uh, let's go over here to the NVIDIA certification webpage. This is NVIDIA.com slash NUS uh, Learn Certifications. So they've got a number of certification exams. Um, they've got a mix of infrastructure professional exams and developer exams. And I've taken exams out of both categories. I've I took the AI infrastructure and operations exam from the infrastructure side, and I took uh, both the Gen AI and LLMs exam, as well as the multimodal Gen AI exam, which I'm gonna talk about now. Um, so anyways, if you go into the certification page and you click on this multimodal Gen AI page, it'll take you over to the main page for the Gen AI multimodal exam. Um, they have some basic details about it. It's a 60 minute time limit. They mentioned it's got 50 to 60 multiple choice questions. When I took the exam, I actually had 60 questions I had to answer. Now, when I took the LLM exam, that exam only had 50. So I don't know if it's always this one has 60 and the LLM has 50 or if they vary it. Uh, but anyways, I took 60 questions in 60 minutes. Um, the 60 minutes of time was plenty. Um, I had enough time to go through all the questions. I had enough time to review all the questions. Um, so uh, I was pretty happy with the amount of time I had. Um, if you scroll on down, it'll talk about the different topics that are covered. If you read through this list of topics like machine learning, data analysis, experimentation, multimodal data, software engineering, trustworthy or the AI, it'll sound pretty similar to the list of topics that are covered by the Gen AI and LLM exam. And that's because there's a high amount degree of overlap. Now, the multimodal data is something separate and specific for this exam. Uh, and there's another section, the section on data analysis and visualization, I think, uh, or performance optimization. One of those sections has a lot of questions that are specific to multimodal data. But um, most of the content is very similar between the two exams. So you can study for them both simultaneously, which is what I did. Um, similar to the multi to the uh, Gen AI and LLM exam, it also has a study guide. So let's go take a look at their study guide. So again, it's an eight-page PDF. Um, actually, let me go back to that page for one more second. Below the uh, exam study guide, they have the exam blueprint. And you'll notice right here, they list the seven sections with some percentages. You know, 25% of an experimentation, 20% of machine learning, 15% of multimodal data, and so on, 5% of trustworthy. Um, so some of these sections obviously have less points than they do on the LLM exam. Trustworthy AI is worth 10% on that exam. It's only 5% here. Machine learning is worth more than 20% on that exam and so on. Uh, multimodal data though, notice is only 15% uh, and some of the other new sections only like 10%. So they only added a little bit of new content. Um, and then they have a few references down here as well as mentioning some of the classes that they recommend. Uh, again, these classes they might recommend over here on the left side are paid classes. I did not take any of those classes, but I did take a Udemy class, which was a lot cheaper, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, so let's go over the study guide. So looking at their study guide, again, it's eight pages. Again, it lists the different seven different sections and the weights. Uh, again, for each uh, one of these pages, they kind of list the various topics that are important, like learning frameworks and machine learning and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, then they go into recommended training, talking about how it maps into their recommended training classes. And then they give some suggested readings. Now, I did do all of these readings, similar to what I did for the Gen AI and LMs class. The day of the exam, I actually reviewed all of these different readings. Now, I didn't necessarily read every single word in some of the longer papers, but I did read everything that I thought was important to understand the concepts. Uh, in particular, when you're thinking about this from a multimodal perspective, what are we talking about multimodal? We're talking about, uh, you know, generating images, generating audio, generating uh, text in different languages, um, all sorts of different things where you're dealing with multiple modes of information in a generative AI context. 
So for example, there's a link here on multimodal machine learning. Um, there are links, if we scroll down to, uh, let's scroll on down to clip, uh, connecting texts and images. Again, that's another link uh, relevant to multimodal. Um, another paper that was relevant to uh, multimodal was this discussion of data fusion. And in fact, uh, I would say the readings that had the most questions on the exam related to multimodal were probably this article on CLIP, connecting text and images, and the data fusion. Uh, those multimodal data fusion, and there's a couple different articles on multimodal data fusion here, uh, but those seem to be what got hit with a lot of questions, uh, specifically with regards to multimodal. But generally, again, I would recommend reading all of the references because all of them, uh, I, I saw probably a question on each of these uh, throughout the exam. I saw questions on mixed precision training, quantization, and, and so on. So I think every re reference that they mention in their categories is important from a test prep preparation perspective. Um, now, similar to what I did with the LLM exam, uh, like I mentioned, I had studied through two different Udemy courses. Um, I studied one that was described as being specific to the LLM exam, which was this uh, multi-manifold -manif AI learnings course on NVIDIA Certified Associate Gen AI LLMs. And I studied uh, Andrew Larkin's course, which was specific to multimodal, called NVIDIA Certified Associate Gen AI and Multimodal. Now, one of the advantages of Andrew's course is first, his course was a little more specific to the NVIDIA technology than uh, the Manifold AI course was. Uh, Andrew's course also had about 200 prep questions in it. So you could do a lot of simulated exam questions. He had a lot more simulated exam questions than the Manifold AI course had with it. Now, in addition to that, um, obviously Udemy and other places also have lots of other practice questions that you could uh, take if you wanted additional practice. Um, this was plenty of practice and review for me. Uh, when I took this particular exam, there were seven categories. I had two sections I had a 93% on. The other five sections were all somewhere in the 80s. Um, not quite as good as the previous exam, but again, there were more questions on this. Also, this was the second one I took in the same day, so I was a little bit tired when I took it. Um, and it was covering more material. So, and I still passed it with, you know, by more than 20 points above what I needed to pass. So, um, yeah, so, um, so getting, so those, both those courses were good uh, review, highly recommend them. If you've taken a course on machine learning or deep learning, that would also be helpful or any LLM knowledge. And again, you don't have to be hands-on. Now I do recommend hands-on for practicing purposes. Um, you know, doing hands-on AI stuff will help you learn the content material better, but it's not required. You know, there's no actual Python code that you have to write in these exams. It's all going to be conceptual level questions about what to do. Now, speaking about the questions there's really two types of questions there's multiple choice a b c d and there's um select a two type questions we have to select a couple um those tended to be the sorts of questions you saw uh most of them were multiple choice but there were a few of the select twos so with that um that was my brief review of the multimodal exam again um great little exam. It's a good way to demonstrate your knowledge of NVIDIA technology and AI uh, LLM technology in general. So uh, tune in next time and I'll dive into another certification exam.